and you are in Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Today I just want to show you some things that um, I am working on, things that I have finished, and um, things that I plan on working on. So if you are new to my channel, thank you, and this is all about crochet. Um, okay, so I guess I'm excited about all the things that I've got going, and I'm excited about the things that I've gotten finished. Um, first of all, this is the Larkspur shawl by um, Jennifer from Fiber Flux. And let's see if I can show the back side. There are several different ways to wear this. You, I believe that you're actually maybe supposed to be wearing it the front way and back. I don't know, but I really like it this way. And um, I love these colors right here. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I just used the Hirschner's, um, which they don't, I looked online and they don't have it anymore. Oh, I really wanted to order some more colors. But it is the Lighthouse Plume yarn right here. Let's see, Lighthouse Plume. And it says that it is four weight, but it's kind of thin to me, like a three weight. But I am so proud of this. I got to wear this in uh, to church today, show it off, and out to eat, and <laughs> wore it to the Dollar Tree today. Um, that was my shopping. But um, anyway, yes, I'm excited about this, and it was so easy to make that I plan on making some more. I just gotta find the right kind of yarns that I wanna do it with. Um, like I said, I really wanted this and I went online and they didn't have it. So I'm going to send them an email to see if maybe they're just out of stock, you know, um, or if they're not carrying it anymore. But I would love to have this in some more colors, like more springy looking colors as well. But anyway, that it worked up really pretty, uh, these colors. I just combined several colors. Um, at the Dollar Tree today, I <laughs> bought me, and they're so thin, you know, but this called a uh, Challenging Color by Number. I love doing these books, but this is the book that I got. It's kind of, I guess you could say my Dollar Tree haul, but I love these books. I have quite a few uh, color by number books, and um, they're just relaxing. Sometimes before I get ready to go to bed, I'll pull this out and, um, you know, these books and just kind of color them, but this one's, um, this one is obviously a little cheaper, but I don't mind. I mean, what am I going to do with it after I get through coloring it? Just turn the page and do another one, you know? It's not like I keep them or anything, but they're just relaxing. But that's kind of what I'm, you see the numbers on there? I'll show you one on here. Oh yeah, this one right here. This is like the sewing basket Anyway, and it has all those little numbers on them. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. But, yeah. It's just fun. It's relaxing, you know. But wait till you see this next one. <laughs> if you think that those that's little. You gotta have your magnifying glasses on for this one. This is called Extreme Dot to Dot. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Give you an idea. <laughs> Look at all that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to do a whole page without my eyes killing me. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Um, I was gonna see how many it says are in here. It says color your own straight edge on back cover. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess you can use a ruler. Okay, so there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. It shows 15, I must say. Uh, oh, page one is missing. So there's 14 pattern, I mean, 14 color by number. But yeah, they are tiny. <laughs> but that's fun. Like I said, believe it or not, that's relaxing to me. So, okay. And what I've been, oh yeah, at the Dollar Tree, I guess I could show this. I picked up a couple of these little dollar scarves to wear. Thought they might be cute, little summer, and they got little tassels on them for one dollar. So there's one of them. And they were listed as St. Patrick's Day. And I thought, well, these aren't just for St. Patrick's Day, you know? I can wear these all summer and spring. 
and then these have they got little tassels on them too so got me two of those and i got this right here and it just to kind of keep my hooks or pencils in in my drawer in there you know not a nothing big but it was cute couldn't pass it up bought my daughter one of them too so <laughs> um my sister let's see I guess I gotta bounce it. Yep. She bought me this little ball. So I don't, I'm not gonna show it in the camera too much because, you know, uh, people that have seizures and stuff, it might bother their eyes, but you get the gist. Um, that's from my sister Tanya. Thank you, Sissy. Um, and then I had to buy me a little trash can where I sit. The one that I'm using right now uh, to throw my threads, my yarn threads in and stuff is um, a little bit too big and it keep getting in my way so for a dollar I just grabbed me one of these in this size and I could just put you know a plastic bag inside there and then when I clip off my yarn threads I just throw them in here or eat my snacks or whatever and throw the wrapper in here it's not just for yarn <laughs> okay so um, one of the things that I was working on um, just to move along let me I guess get these out of the way I was working on um, this scarf by, it's called the V Scarf, and it's by Nastasia, Nastia, Nastasia, I don't know, but hers is beautiful, but it's this pattern right here, it's a free pattern, and she has a YouTube video on it, and then she, there's a link you can click on to get the free pattern. Well, I haven't put my little, she's got these like little beads on it. And I haven't gotten that far yet, but I did make it out of some of my, um, this yarn right here, the Nick, Nicolo, Nicol, uh, Knitologic by Knit Crate. Really pretty yarn, and soft, and it's nice and thin, you know, perfect for summer and spring. Um, it's the colorway is Citrus Squeeze, 75% Superwash Merino Wool, 15% Nylon, and 10% Cashmere, fingering weight, 439 yards. It's really nice. I like it. Um, but what I made with it for her, using her pattern, I'm just not sure. But it's supposed to be, I'm sorry, dropped my paper. It's supposed to be like a V shape, and then it comes around. Of course, I haven't blocked it yet obviously, but it comes around the front like this, it's supposed to fit like this, and it goes around your neck, Ugh. let's see, I'm really trying guys, looking in the camera, okay, and it's supposed to have like a something hanging right here, and and then you're supposed to, this goes around your neck, and this only hangs to like maybe to about right there, it doesn't hang too far, and then it's supposed to have some beads hanging off that, so until I can get it blocked, and maybe get some beads on it. I don't really know if I'll actually wear it. So, but I'm going to do everything I can before I give up on it. Hers looks really pretty. And maybe I should have done it in a solid color. I don't know. But that's what I did. Here's what it looks worked up, by the way. It's really pretty. Um, I just got to, I guess, finish working with it doing the last bits of it to see. So, uh, Lynette's working with something like this on her channel, this same color. So if you're watching this, Lynette, this is it. This is what I made with mine. And I still have a whole skein, so I gotta figure out something else to make with it because it really is pretty and it works out really well as far as the yarn itself. Um, but with what I made, I'm just not sure how to wear that until I, I guess till I get it maybe fixed up a little bit more. But I am happy with the color and the yarn itself. It's really pretty. Um, okay, Premier Yarn. I did get uh, Creative Grandma's Try Me, the three pack, Try Me Pack, and Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer's Try Me Pack. And I'm so excited to get those in. Um, I just ordered them, today is Sunday. I ordered them Saturday morning, I think. Um, and I've downloaded Cinnamon's pattern. It's got a free pattern, the Fade Shawl. And I'm so excited 
to get started on that. Oh my gosh, I've seen so many pictures where people are posting the pictures of the fade shawl. And I'm jealous. I'm like, oh, I want to do that so bad. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. So um, uh, I finally I went ahead and, and got it ordered. And I, I went ahead and bought both of them because Creative Grandma's, her yarn is just as beautiful, the color combination. They're, they're actually like, Creative Grandma's is like feisty, fun type. And then Jennifer's with Cinnamon Stitches, hers is more calm, relaxed. Type. So I'm kind of glad it's like that because then I get the chance to make two different uh, two different scarves uh, with two complete different looks. So I'm really glad that they both picked opposite ends of color schemes. You know that's nice. Um, but anyway, so that should be coming in from Premier Yarn. Um, the other thing that I'm working on, uh, Ryan. I don't know if you guys know her, but probably everyone does. Uh, the yarn uh, yarn hag with Ryan. Uh, she's got a real cool channel. She's upbeat. She you know just inspires people a lot with her spunky personality. Well, she's got this bunny tail graph again uh, thing going. I guess that's what you call it. Um, I've never done one of those. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. But it, this one's called the bunny tail. So thank you, Ryan. I got my pattern. So somehow my email, when I emailed her for the pattern, it went to her either junk spam mail or something like that. And so I, I commented on one of her videos and I was like, I left you a message. And so she, you know, said she was really sorry. It went to the wrong, uh, wrong folder of, of her email account. And so she got it to me though. So thank you, Ryan. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this. So I will be starting on this project this week. Now, the cinnamon stitch is the fade shawl. Since the yarn's not in, um, that's going to be put to the side until I get that yarn in. And I will do a video on that so you guys will see it. Um, I'm really excited about it. Okay, and then Z, the Just Feel Festive shawl. I've got this one all printed, ready to go, waiting for some yarn to come in on this one. I was sort of thinking about using Creative Grandma's yarn for this one. I don't know till I get hers in, uh, what I think, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be pretty. So those are the projects that I have that I'm planning on doing. Oh, I have more actually. Um, those I can't do anything with, that's what it is. So those I have set to the side waiting for yarn to come in. What I am working on, this was a, um, a um, project bag that I won in a giveaway from uh, Pamela's crochet and knit corner and I'm using it. I've used it twice actually when I was working on this. I carried this around with me and now I'm working on a uh, scarf for a Christmas present for this year, for the end of the year. So I got to make, I have, um, let's see, four sisters and my mom. So it's five girls. I'm making all of them scarves along with a few other things. And so each month I'm going to try to get at least two Christmas items done a month. And so, you know, why not? That way I'm not so crazy like it was this past Christmas. Um, but the one I'm using on this is the Touch of Alpaca. They have this wonderful scarf pattern on there and I absolutely love it. It's so easy. I mean, you can just whip it up in no time. And I've made two of these already. Um, I actually made mine in this color, it's called Blush. And then I made my daughter one. And then now, for like I said, for Christmas this end of the year, um, I'm making all my sisters one. And so I've already got the bag pulled to the side, all their yarn in it. So I don't, and a note saying what color each girl gets so that I'm not having to, you know, try to figure it all out because it's all written down. But yes, that's what I'm working on. I will probably do this one today. And so you'll probably see it in my next video when I get it done because it only takes, I don't know how long it takes actually. I don't know, because I'm I'm so scattered brain. I'll, I'll work on something, get up and do stuff, and then go back, work on again, get up and do stuff again. And you know, so I don't know how long it actually takes. But anyway, and I love this thing because it's got this little handle thing here, this little arm thing. But this is my first uh, fabric project bag that I've ever owned, thanks to Pam, uh, that I won this in her giveaway. So, I'm excited about that. Um, and then if you know anything about my Doreen doll clothes patterns, 
Um, I've had someone email me and they're wanting me to do a bunny costume. And so if you're watching, I'm ready to start on it. I'm gonna start on this tomorrow and hopefully get it done and sent to the tester and uh, releasing it this week. So this will be the bunny costume. Um, oh, and then I got good news uh, for my patterns. Um, you know, I have my website and I sell my patterns on my website and then I um, sell them on Etsy as well. And I had applied to sell my patterns on um, Pixie Fair back in October. Well, I got an email from them and I've signed a contract with them. And so now I get to work with them. And so they're gonna work with me in some of my patterns. And of course, uh, the patterns that are on there are not gonna be able to be patterns that I can publish myself. You know, they will own the pattern. And uh, so I like I like that idea. And so I will um, kind of work for them and then work for my own self at the same time. So I'm looking forward to that. So thank you, Pixie Fair, for uh, taking Adoring Doll Clothes in. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and then the other thing that I'm planning on working, and I have it all ready, and I have two of these, but I'm probably only gonna do one for now. But this is called the Dynacardi, and um, I'm, yeah, I got this from Mary Maxim. But this is what I'm fixing to be working on. It's going into my living room. Anything that makes it from the yarn room to the living room is like gold, because that means that you're, it's going to get done, you know, but that's what I'm working on. That one, or I'm fixing to start on is this project. So as of this week, well, I have my Amazon orders, uh, the kitchen towel holders, you know, I got to get those fulfilled, but starting Monday, but when Monday, when tomorrow gets here, that's what I'm going to do is get my Amazon orders out first thing and then start the bunny thing. And then, um, this here will be next. And then, because like I said, that scarf for my sister, I plan on having that done tonight, you know, while I'm watching TV. But anyway, so uh, that's Mary Maxim. And uh, the colors, I'll show you the colors real quick. Oh yeah, and then I had got me this bag right here from Mary Maxim. And let's see, there's one, two, here's the third color. So I don't know how easy or how hard this pattern is gonna be. I haven't had a chance to sit down and actually look at the pattern. Uh, but if it's too hard, you know me, I have the Sorella Easy Cardigan pattern as a backup. I can always go back to that pattern if this one is too difficult and make these colors work for that pattern. Um, but the three colors that I'm using are these right here. This is a dark gray, and it's like a tan color, and then a, a cream off-white color. Um, and it's called Mellow Spun, Mary Maxim, Mel Ultra Mellow Spun. I have never used this yarn before, so it's new, and it is very soft. I love this, the way it feels. It's a three light, 70% um, acrylic, 30% nylon, 174 yards. But that's it right there. So that looks like it's going to be the cuff on the cardigan and it's going to be the bottom part of the cardigan. The middle part of the cardigan is going to be cotton is the color. So it's really not white. It may look white on the camera, I'm not sure, but it's not white. It's like a, a cream off-white color. Really pretty though. And then the top part of the cardigan, it actually looks darker in the picture than it does on here, but you know how printouts are. Um, this one is called Taupe, but there it is. So I had bought the kit, I bought two kits, one for my daughter, one for me. And so this will be my first time to work off of a kit. And I did that because not only did I get all this on sale and I really liked it, the image, but I liked the fact that I didn't have to second guess how the yarn was gonna work up. And I, you know, I didn't literally have to second guess anything. It just came as a kit, everything was there. So, um, thank you, Mary Maxim, I'm excited about that. Okay, the last thing, I believe that's all. Yes, the last thing that I have is I got my um, order in from Line Brand. It took a little bit, uh, I'm not really sure why, 
but it's okay. I wasn't in a hurry for it, you know. But I did get a kit that I had ordered from them, and it's called the uh, Coffee Shop Cardigan. And I did get this on sale, like 40% off. And um, so there's that one. It's just one solid color. Um, so they gave me an invoice. Yeah, they gave me an invoice and talking about the ha hashtag hat not hate. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. You make a blue hat, you wear and share your blue hat on social media using hashtag hat not hate. And you can donate a blue hat to hat not hate line brand yarn company. So that's really cool. Enjoy a 35% discount on blue yarn only. Use the discount code HN. H35. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 hats. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then, of course, I got a free pattern of the ponchos. They sent the little glossy thing of ponchos. All right. Now, to show you the goodie, what we all been looking uh, waiting for, for this kit. Um, I guess I'll set that there. It, the kit came with six things of yarn um, and once again I have not worked with this yarn before either so apologize for the paper sound or plastic sound but um, hmm it does feel good it's kind of wonder that's gonna be kind of hard to see when you're working with it Hmm, it's definitely different. It's called Slime Brand Homespun. It's 98% acrylic and it just is 2% other fiber. It's 185 yards. And apparently it's gonna take six of these and it's called Rocco. R <laughs> I thought that's what it said, but I don't think that's what it says. It's R-O-C-O-C-O, -O -C -O, Rococo. <laughs> Why would they give something a name like that? Um, I'm just going to call it Rocco. <laughs> I know it's probably not right, but anyway. So here it is. It's pretty, and it's soft. Um, I just hope I'm able to work with that. But yeah, this was a kit. Uh, so if you're interested in this one, it's called the Coffee Shop Cardigan. And um, yeah. Yeah. So that's all I have today. I'm really tickled over my locks for uh, Charlotte from Fiber Flux. Thank you, Jennifer, for this uh, wonderful pattern. Um, anyway, so that's all I have. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you on my next video. And everyone have a blessed week. Thank you.